Hey everybody, in this video we're going to discuss some concepts regarding cables that are subjected to concentrated loads. So here's a figure of our cable that's subjected to two concentrated loads. So at point A and B are the support locations for this cable. And at point C and D we have concentrated loads acting on uh, the points at which the concentrated loads are acting upon. Theta is the angle between the support locations A and B. L is the span length of this cable. So if we knew uh, L1, L2, and L3, and we knew the, the loads that were acting, P1 and P2, this, uh, this uh, problem, this figure, would have uh, nine unknowns. And so the nine unknowns are the two uh, reactions at, at the support location A, two reactions at A, two reactions at support location B in the horizontal and vertical direction. And then we have three tension forces. And the three tension forces are the tensile force in AC, in segment AC, in segment CD, and in segment DB. And then we have the two displacements, or the SAGs, that we, def we denote as Y sub C and Y sub D. So if we have nine unknowns and we need to solve for them, we would need nine equations to solve for. So we can easily get the first eight equations, and the first eight equations are just doing two equations of force equilibrium at point A, at point B, at point C, and at point D. So four locations times two equations of equilibrium at those four locations, so that, that's equal to eight equations. And so for the ninth equation, we need to derive some relationship, some geometric relationship that we can use. So that way we'll have nine unknowns, and then we'll have nine equations. And some important concepts to note uh, regarding a cable that's subjected to concentrated loads. So some concepts and assumptions. So each section is in tension. So each section that we have, A, C, C, D, and D, B, they are in tension. And the tension in each section is different from the other section, but constant along the section. So what we're saying here is that the tension in A, C is different from C, D, and is different from D, B, but the tension along A, C is constant, along C, D is constant, and along D, B it's constant. Third, the sections are considered straight, and this is an assumption, even though actually these sections are not truly, like, perfectly straight, but they're close enough that for, that for analysis purposes, we just assume it to be straight. And then the fourth concept uh, is that the cables are flexible, meaning that they can only take tension. They cannot take any, for any compression. And the fifth point is that uh, even though the cable has some weight, to simplify things, we just say that the weight of the cable is negligible, so we don't take that into account. The sixth point is that the internal forces that are acting along the cable, they act along the length of the cable. And number seven, the horizontal component of tension along each section is constant. So what we're seeing here is that in section AC and CD and DB, AC and then CD and then DB, the horizontal component of tension is constant. So if we look at section, all these uh, different sections, they have tension, but the tension would have two components, a vertical component of tension and a horizontal component. So what we're saying is that the horizontal component of tension is the same in all of these sections, but the vertical component is different. And the vertical component and the vertical component is a function of how steep is a function of how steep that section is. So if we look at our figure, the steepest the, the steepest section is AC, so that means that it will have the highest vertical component of tension. So which that leads us to our uh, eighth uh, point, which is that the maximum tension is in the steepest section. So if we say that the horizontal component of tension is the same in all sections, that means that the vertical component of tension is different. And so the vertical component of tension 
is, uh, is dependent upon the steepness of the section. The steeper it is, the steeper, uh, the greater the vertical component of tension, which means that the steeper the section, the, the greater the amount of tension in that section. So for this figure, AC would have the largest amount of tension. And then the uh, ninth and last point is that all forces uh, are, acting, uh, are acting on the specified load points. So that means that we don't have any other, any external forces acting along any other points over here along the length of the cable along in any of these sections. So this is just a brief introduction, uh, brief discussion about, the, about cables that are subjected to concentrated loads. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next video. Thanks.